Hello and welcome. My name is Christoph Putz and I am your IT career guide. In today's video, I want to talk about Linux related IT certifications that you can use to build a successful career in information technology using the Linux operating system. Before we get into this video, if you don't mind subscribing to my channel and hitting the like button for this video, I would really appreciate it. It helps me with the YouTube algorithm. So as you know, Linux is an open source operating system. And of course, uh, with that being said, there are quite a few companies who build a commercial offering on top of Linux. And um, this really has opened up a large broad scale market within information technology. And you might not be familiar with Linux as much, but once you start digging in and identify it, you know that quite a few large websites, e-commerce, e-commerce systems and more are running on Linux operating systems. And it doesn't matter if it's the open source version or a commercial version. What matters to us in this case is really that there are quite a few Linux certifications available and that can either be just your first step into information technology or to help you to showcase that you have what it takes, that you have subject matter expert knowledge level of Linux. And um, with, with that being said, it will help you to command higher salaries compared to people that do not have this knowledge. And of course, with all certifications, I think certifications are a great tool to keep your knowledge active, where you just follow the objectives of that certification. If that certification expires, you take the next level up, you take the next test, you refresh your knowledge, and you can again showcase for several years that you are a subject matter expert. So there are a total of four Linux related certification tracks that I wanna point out today. So of course there are quite a few more and I'm not going into detailed level of each certification, but I wanna point you into that direction so that you can take uh, some time, research it and identify which of the Linux certification is the right one for you. We're starting with CompTIA's Linux Plus and that is a vendor neutral certification. It's one, I wanna say it's more entry level and that might be a good start for you to get your feet wet in Linux, understand how the operating system works and uh, really see if this area is of interest for you. Linux works quite differently compared to Microsoft Windows Server operating systems. Linux is mostly command line based. Of course, you can get a graphical user interface or a GUI on top of a Linux operating system installation, but really the strength of Linux is that it's, um, I don't wanna say a bare bone operating system, but it doesn't need a GUI. You can completely administer Linux from the command line remotely or right on the console of the device. And so this vendor neutral certification by CompTIA, the Linux Plus certification, is a great way to get introduced to Linux, build up a certain expert level already, and then move into a more dedicated area. The next certification I wanna talk about is the Linux Professional Institute Certification for System Administrators. Um, again, this is a very highly recognized industry certification. It's vendor neutral, so it will really support nicely what you have with the Linux Plus certification but I would uh, put it a little higher in value compared to Linux Plus. So that um, just from, from that perspective, the two will complement each other. But if you go straight to the Linux Professional Institute certifications, I think um, you get a little head start. The Linux Plus certification is more helpful if you're really coming from a zero Linux related background um, to obtain that first level of knowledge. The uh, Linux Professional Institute certification is definitely a step further ahead. Then the third Linux IT certifications that I want to talk about um, are the ones from the Linux Foundation. The Linux Foundation is really made up of companies, of, of really the big players specifically in the area of Linux. And um, seeing that this type of certification is supported by these companies uh, really tells you that there's a lot of value in that certification. And it's not just one certification, so you have to look up what the tracks are, of course. But um, since this um, Linux Foundation is backed by large industry players, um, you can be sure that when you have this certification on your resume, 
that companies will recognize it and really put value on it. So it will become a tool that helps you to get a job with an employer that is looking for a Linux IT systems administrator or engineer. For the fourth certification, I'm looking at one of the largest vendors in the world of Linux. Linux, as you know, is a, an open source operating system. And then there are companies that have taken this open source and put a commercial offering on top of it. And Red Hat, in this case, is one of those largest players, if not the largest, um, that offers their own IT certification track specifically related to Linux. Red Hat was around when the um, internet came out of kindergarten, I want to say. So in the late 90s, when the internet really started gaining speed and uh, Red Hat was there and seized the opportunity. So they were really early on in this field. And um, so there are quite a few companies and systems and offerings that are running on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So there's always going to be a need for Red Hat certified systems administrators, engineers. And again, if you go to their website and look specifically at these certifications, you can identify which ones potentially fit when you are newer to Linux and which ones can help you to really showcase your expertise a little bit down the road. So don't underestimate the value of using a Linux related certification early on to get into the field of Linux systems administration, engineering, security, database administration, where Linux is really the, uh, the operating system underneath. And then look at certifications later on to build up that credibility to establish yourself as a subject matter expert. So that's really a first look at uh, Linux certifications and how they can help you to break into the world of this different operating system. And I say different because as mentioned, um, there are graphical user interfaces available for Linux, but mainstream consumers and um, a lot of systems administrators, they work on the Windows side of things. They are used to having a graphical user interface. While Microsoft introduced PowerShell and scripting um, uh, several years ago, the Linux side really grew up on scripting and using command line to manage these operating systems. So it's a very different world from that perspective. And um, don't underestimate, it seems to be a smaller market in one way, but then if you think about it, ooh, there are all the people that only can work in a GUI while the other ones really can easily work from the command line. Um, there is high demand for those individuals with that subject matter expertise. So I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so as well. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.